गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द ईवीएस क्लास ओके बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द न्यू लेसन आई वुड आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन ओके डियर फ्रेंड्स हाउ डू यू गो टू स्कूल हाउ डू यू कम टू स्कूल एवरी डे मे बी बाई बस बाई कार बाई साइकिल वैन ऑटो और मे बी ऑन फुट सो यू नो दीज आर ऑल मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट ओके दीज आर ऑल मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर इलेवन दैट इज मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस लेसन आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट and how they are helpful to us we travel from one place to another any vehicle which we use to traveling is known as means of transport with the advancement in science better and quicker means of transport have been made for travel by road water and air okay, we all go from one place to another and how do we go we go by different vehicles like bus car train bicycle auto aeroplane okay so the movement of people or goods from one place to another is called transportation and this transportation is carried out through various modes okay such as land water and air the, these are three modes of transportation we can go from one place to another by land by air or through water and the vehicles which are used in these modes are known as means of transportation the vehicles which are used in these modes of transportation are called means of transportation okay you see the picture of some means of transportation you can see the picture of a bike aeroplane bicycle ship jeep van truck okay there was a time when bullock cart horse carriages and boats were the only means of transport but in this modern era these means of transport are limited to rural areas in today's world only a few vehicles are available that have no engine otherwise every vehicle has an engine these engines need petrol diesel or cng to run there are some vehicles that are battery operated also in olden times when so many vehicles were not there people used to travel from one place to another or goods were carried goods matlab saman okay saman jo hota hai so goods were carried or people used to travel from one place to another in bullock cart or horse carriages horse carriages means the carriages driven by horse ghoda gaadi jisko kehte hain and bullock cart bullock cart jisko bail gaadi bolte hain bullock is bail so bullock cart is bail gaadi and horse carriages that is ghoda gaadi so bullock cart were used by common people and horse carriages people uh, who were slightly richer than other people or who belong to some good families they used to carry in horse carriages because horse carriages were better than bullock carts bullock carts were driven by bullock carts they were drawn by bullock carts and they used to be open but horse carriages were closed 
they were comfortable to sit close from all the sides and inside also it used to be comfortable and otherwise if not by bullock cart or horse carriage then by ship now if somebody had to uh, travel from one country to another country where the seas had to be crossed then bullock cart or horse carriages could not go so people used to travel by ship okay people used to go to another country by ship but ship used to take a long time ship used to take a long time in reaching another country boats were used for going from one say one uh, village to another village or one city to another city because in those times so many pools were also not there so boats were the only means to cross the river but with advancement of technology with passage of time as the years passed by many vehicles were invented then machine a uh, vehicles with machines were invented and the earlier bicycles were there then uh, then came scooter then motorcycle now we have different types of motorcycle and now we have almost all the means of transport all the means of transport are driven are engine operated uh, all these transports have engines so now these bullock carts horse carriages i don't think anyone uses horse carriages now and bullock carts are also limited to rural areas and that to very remote areas otherwise in villages also the roads are there people have all kind of modern vehicles nobody uses bullock cart bullock carts are used only if it is very remote kahi bahut andar mein koi rural area hai there only bullock carts are used otherwise bullock carts are also not used anymore nobody travels in bullock carts now because it takes a long time also very inconvenient and it takes a long time in today's world only a few vehicles are available that have no engines like bicycle you can say or rickshaw i think these are the only vehicles that have no engine otherwise all other vehicles have engine whether it is scooty or motor bike or auto rickshaw all have buses cars they already they always had an engine and other vehicles are all the other vehicles have engine now i think bicycle and rickshaw are the only two vehicles which do not have engines and these engines need petrol diesel or cng to run cng is compressed natural gas cng vehicles they do not cause pollution so in metropolitan cities almost all the uh, buses like in delhi all the buses auto rickshaws they run on cng only otherwise all these vehicles which have engine they either run on petrol or diesel on all these public vehicles like auto rickshaw taxis buses they run on cng that is compressed natural gas now there are some vehicles that are battery operated also like e rickshaw e rickshaw is electronic rickshaw which is battery operated now there are certain uh, scooters also some companies have launched uh, scooters that run on battery it does not require any petrol or diesel the battery has to be recharged but the only disadvantage with battery operated vehicles is that they cannot run for a very long distance they cannot go very long otherwise the moment battery gets discharged they are stopped with petrol and diesel if the petrol gets over we can get it refilled so the battery has to be discharged but they don't make any noise and they don't cause any pollution okay now as i told you there are three modes of transport land transport water transport and air transport and the means which are used for these transport for these modes of transport are called are known as means of transport okay now let us 
discuss in detail about these type of transport. First is land transport. All vehicles which move on land are called means of land transport. Examples, bikes, cars, buses and vans. Trains and metros are the best examples of track transport. Now land transport is the transport or movement of people, animal or goods. As I told you, goods matlab saman. Okay. So land transport is the transport or movement of people, animals or goods from one location to another location on land. Okay. The Vehicles which move on land are land transport. And the two main forms of land transport are road transport and rail transport. These are two main forms of land transport. Okay, because most of the land transports run on road but trains run on tracks. Now, road Transport means uh, road transport and rail transport are the two main forms of land transport. Okay. Now road transport means transportation of people and goods from one place to another on road. Road is a route between two destinations. Okay. Road is a route between two destinations which has been either paved or worked like road it is made to enable transportation by way of motorized and non-motorized carriages motorized means vehicles which run on engine and non-motorized means cycle rickshaw etc bullock carts okay so there are many advantages of road transport in comparison to other means of transport. Road transport is the most common means of transport because there are many means of road transport. Okay, and roads are uh, spread throughout the country. So, kehte hai, pura road and pura road ka network hai. There are so many highways and roads connect trains. Maybe trains cannot reach all the destinations. Maybe if it is um, uh, somewhere on hills or somewhere trains maybe it may happen that trains cannot reach everywhere but roads reach even the remotest village so there are many advantages of road transport in comparison to other means of transport okay so and the investment that is the money which is put in road transport is very less as compared to other modes of transport such as maybe railways or air transport. The cost of construction, operating cost and maintaining road is cheaper than that of railways. As I told you, there are two forms of land transport that is road transport and rail transport. Road transport is the most common form of land transport because there are many means of road transport. Then constructing road is cheaper than Constructing tracks and maintenance is also cheaper than that of railways because road transports, the transports which are used, which are used on roads, which run on road are manned by human beings. Trains are also manned by human beings, but nowadays all the system is computerized. Okay. So road transport is the most common mean, uh, most common form of land transport. Okay. Now next is, second is rail transport. Rail transport is also known as train transport. It is a means of transport on vehicles which run on tracks. Since rails run on tracks, so it is rail transport. It is one of the most important and commonly used. And it is, in a way it is very cost effective because in it is a very uh, cost effective mode of commuting and goods carriage over long as well as short distance. Since this system runs on rails and wheels, 
it has an inherent benefit of lesser frictional resistance now since in rail so many people can travel at the same time okay so this is cost effective also in the sense that it is cheaper trains are usually powered by engine locomotive running on electricity or diesel nowadays uh, most of the engines are run on electricity only okay signaling system is there and it is rail transport is also one of the most fastest modes of land transport for long distance we people normally prefer going by rail transport only road transport like buses cars scooters van truck jeep auto rickshaw these are used for like uh, auto rickshaw car scooter these are used for short distance if it is slightly longer we can use buses also people travel by car also but for longer distance trains are the most convenient form of transport okay because it is the fastest means of land transport if we travel the same distance by road it will take a longer time and row and since so many people can travel in train at the same time so it is slightly cheaper also now i will show you pictures of some land transport these are some means of land transport you can see auto rickshaw you can see ambulance you can see truck scooter van bus car cycle rickshaw train now ambulance is also a means of transport because it is not used by everyone but it is used to carry sick and patients from their home to the hospital or hospital to home so ambulance is also a means of land transport so these are some means of land transport apart from train all these are means of road transport and rail is a means of rail tra tra train is a means of rail transport as i told you that there are two main forms of land transport road transport and rail transport after land transport the next means of transport next mode of transport is water transport for water transport earlier we had boats which we used to paddle but now we have motor boats and they move very fast do you know that a submarine travels under water and a hovercraft floats on water ships are used to travel longer distance on water water transport is the process of moving people's goods etc by large boats ships or sail boats over a sea ocean lake canal river etc okay it is the cheapest means of transport they are more suitable and in fact they are more water transports are the most suitable for carrying heavy and bulky goods bulky means huge bade bade so for carrying heavy and bulky goods water transports are the most suitable and it is fuel efficient also fuel efficient in the sense uh, less fuel is required whether it is petrol or diesel or fuel which is used by ships less fuel is required and it is uh, one of the most important means of transport for carrying goods from one part to another part in a country okay or from one country to another country from one part in a country to another part in a country water transport is the most important means of transport okay for carrying goods it is a cheaper means of transport not uh, many people travel by boats nowadays especially for 
moving from one place to another boats are used uh, in villages where maybe the bridges are not there across the river so people still use boats to cross the river okay otherwise heavy and bulky goods are transported from one place to another in the same country from one corner of a country to another corner of a country uh, goods are transported through huge ships these are there are ships that carry goods they are used to transport goods from one part of a country to another in villages maybe when uh, during rainy season when the rivers are flooded many a times it so happens that the bridges which are across the river get submerged in water or it gets broken then people uh, cross the river through boats only so boats are still in use especially in rural areas boats are still in use but going from one country to another people don't prefer ships anymore luxury luxury cruise ships are there where uh, people uh, use these uh, luxury ships for their we can say entertainment these ships are so huge they are like an entire city they have everything on them they have cinema halls they have malls they have uh, uh, restaurants they have a uh, football field they have swimming pool many these luxury ships are these cruise ships are like a huge city people travel in these ships they these ships like they uh, travel through many countries they stop at one place people go there have a look they roam around stay there for maybe one or two days and then they come back then the ship moves to another place so these are luxury ships so obviously they are very expensive also and everyone cannot afford to travel in these ships because they are extremely expensive but they are huge and then you must have heard about submarine submarines are not used for carrying people submarines travel under water they remain under water only they remain under water and they come on the surface of water very rarely submarines are not used for carrying people they are mainly used by our defense forces mainly for security reason submarines are mainly used by defense forces of all the countries for security reasons okay so submarines are not used for transporting goods or people from one place to another and hovercrafts floats on water i'll show you the picture of hovercraft it floats on water and ships are used to travel longer distance in water earlier when uh, trains were not there when uh, flights were not there then ships were the only means of transport for going from one country to another as it required crossing the oceans Go going from one country to another required crossing the seas and oceans so ships were the only means of transport in olden days in maybe you can say in 20th century in early 19th when aeroplanes were not there nowadays people use people travel by air if they have to go to another country for traveling in the same country we can use bus we can use train we can go by road we can use any means of transport but for traveling to another country when it when it is required to cross a sea or ocean then we have to travel by air only so, and earlier when flights were not there when air travel was not so popular then people used ships only for going from one country to another and it used to take a long time bahut din lagte the many people uh, used to have sea sickness also and still lot of people have sea sickness like when uh, they uh, travel in ship like boat when people cross the river by boat it takes few hours maybe one hour two hours depending on the width of the river or depending on the weather but traveling in ship takes long time
it takes many days so many people become sick also they have nausea they feel uh, they uh, vomit they have vomiting sensation so sick uh, sea sickness used to be there and it used to take a long time but traveling by ship was the only way of cross going from one country to another it was the only means of transportation now ships are mainly used for transporting goods from one place to another okay and by for going to another country people mainly travel by air now we will discuss about air uh, means of air transport also now and boats are still in use especially in rural areas where road roads are not very good okay and during many a times it happens that during rainy season when rivers are flooded roads get submerged or roads are broken roads get damaged so boat is the only way to cross the river so boats are still in use for crossing the rivers in rural areas now i will show you some pictures of water transport now these are some means of water transport you can see a boat you can see a yacht okay yacht is boat with sails and yacht is mainly used for water sports yacht is used for water sports or people who sail on the sea then third is shikara which is floating house you can say on water in uh, lesson number 4 houses we live in i told you about house boats these house boats are made up of wood and they float on water they are like a house they have different rooms they have a kitchen they have toilet they have everything so these are like floating houses these are mainly found in kashmir and in kerala in backwaters of kerala then you can see a motor boat motor boat which is uh, run by engine these normal boats they have a paddles और इसको हिंदी में इसको कहते हैं चप्पू उसे चला करके दे उसको हम चलाते हैं बोट्स वो आगे बढ़ती है नाउ वी हैव मोटर बोट्स मोटर बोट्स हैव इंजन इन देम ओके दे रन थ्रू इंजन देन यू कैन से जेट स्कूटर जेट स्कूटर इज अगेन यूज फॉर वाटर स्पोर्ट इट इज नॉट यूज फॉर ट्रेवलिंग इट इज नॉट यूज फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इट इज मेनली यूज फॉर water sports in seas like in goa wherever seas are there it is used for water sport and then steamer steamer is a uh, run through fuel and it causes lot of air pollution because steam comes out and makes noise also and steam comes out but they are used for transportation they are uh, used by people from for going from one maybe for crossing the river now maybe uh, advancement in technology advanced with passage of time in place of boats many a places steamers are used for crossing the river people use steamers for crossing the rivers these steamers are run on fuel then you can see hovercraft i told you hovercraft it floats on water I, we discussed about we read about hovercraft and submarine hovercraft floats on water then this is cruise ship i told you about cruise ship these are all luxury ships they are like a big city okay they have everything then submarine in hindi it is known as pandubbi pani ke andar rehti it remains under water and it comes on the surface of water very rarely it is again not used for transportation it is mainly used by defense forces for security where the border uh, line is there where the waters of two countries uh, seas and uh, pani mein jahan pe do country ka border milta hai they are mainly deployed there as sick for security reasons then you can see passenger ship ships which are used by people to travel ships which are used for transportation then you can see cargo ship cargo means जो सामान होता है कार्गो शिप्स आर यूज टू 
carry goods from one place to another these are called cargo ships passengers uh, people do not travel on these ships bulky bade bade jo saman hote hain big cartons and big machinery and all these are transported from one place to another through cargo ships and then you can see warships yuddha port jisko bolte hain warships are again not used by common people they are used in time of war they are again there in international waters international waters means where the border of two countries like in water you cannot uh, demarcate ki ye meri country hai ye this is another country so these are mainly these warships are used only in time of war they are there in the sea for again for security reasons okay i'll show you some more pictures see these are again was some water transports boats then luxury yacht luxury ships as i told you motor boat okay motor boats are again used as water sport then house boat house boat i told you they are like floating houses sail boats sail boats again people use for adventure sport the many people who travel in sail boat for many days in sea then uh, sailing uh, ships then fishermen also use boats to they go into the sea to catch fish so fishermen also use boat then you can see again these are all uh, luxury ships hovercraft as i told you it floats in water then catamarans they are also they are again type of ship then shikara shikara are used uh, shikara are found in kashmir dal lake okay they are boat people for boating purpose people use these shikaras paddle boats paddle boats then cruise ships submarines shipping yard ship yard where ships are stationed then cargo ships as they are used for carrying luggage harbor where harbor is the place where ships stay oil tankers there special oil tankers which carry oil okay oil tankers carry oil only and then in uh, between sea also oil tankers are there to drill under the ground and find about the oil then aircraft carrier like you must have heard about the warships they are aircraft carrier that means they have aircraft also on them they are known as aircraft carrier so today children we have uh, discussed about different types of land transport and in land transport also we have discussed two forms of land transport that is road transport and rail transport and then we have discussed about water transport in my next video we will discuss about different types of air transport thank you